my niece, who has brought my family so much joy. I was also just so happy that my family could be there. <laughs> and look at this top! What color brush should I wear with it? Because can you see my... Lanji, my dearest Lanji. Scan a QR code and then get to see a preview of the book. Hi! Welcome to this video. I'm super excited for it because it's all about a preview to a book that I co-authored. So back in February this year, on my late mom's birthday actually, February 24th, I had one thing and one thing only on my to-do list, which was to go and sign my book deal at the Cravit Mulier offices. I have co-authored a book with Lanji. Lanji JJ Oko Awori. She says she has too many names, but they're all super dope. So we have worked on this book that <laughs> It's just so powerful. It documents stories by survivors of rape from 1902 to present day. It is the most extensive piece of work in this area that has ever been done in this region. So we decided before the book launch, which will be early next year, 2021, that we would preview the book for our close stakeholders, you know, family, both in blood and in love, who have held our hands through this project. And for me, who for the last 12 years, because I was raped 12 years ago. So for 12 years, I've had family and very close friends who have been there with me through the process of healing. They've seen me through very dark times. Some were there the night of and the morning after took me to hospital. So we thought it was important to preview the book with them first before we share it with everyone. So at this book preview, they got a chance to actually preview the book and Lanji and I read a few excerpts from our chapters. It was fantastic. But first I wanna take you through my preparations for the book preview because I wanted to look nice and glam but i also wanted to be very comfortable because i knew it was going to be a very emotional day for me so i reached out to brian babu who is a stylist here in kenya and so this video starts off with me going for a fitting at brian's house all right um so i am about to head to brian babu's when i go for uh fittings i try not to wear any makeup just in case he's gotten like white looks or looks that are hard to fit into um but i filled in my eyebrows kiasi i don't know if you can see but i'm hiding everything in this bucket of hearts right <laughs> and look at this top this top is so good what color brush should i wear with it because can you see my it's your black i'm wearing black now can you see it at least, like, you have to open the, the ruffles. Right, I have finished it, Brian. My outfit is at the back there. I just need to go and look for white sneakers. It's D-Day, so it's Sunday morning, and in a couple of hours, we're going to be previewing the book that I co-wrote with Lanji. Oh my word. At least the sun is shining, so at least the weather is on our side because it's like a garden setting. So basically, I have my outfit ready that I picked up from Ryan Babu. I showed you guys that process. I'm just letting this face mask sit. I think I'm even like three minutes over. As I get ready for Daisy. Daisy is a friend, but she is a brilliant artist first and foremost. And her artistry shows through her makeup skills. It shows through stuff that she does with her plant business. So she's going to be coming this time not to bring me plants, but to do my face at 11. So I'm just kind of like prepping my skin before she comes. Big shout out to Daisy for that face beat. But I do want to, before we get to exactly how the event panned out, shout out three people who just exceeded my expectations. 
niche experiences shout out to georgina you guys made that place look so beautiful oh and then this backdrop that she had of Lange and I and the, the flowers and then she included my yellow <laughs> she's like my favorite color she she completely got what we wanted and even added like her spice second person is Arnez catering <gasps> Ah, they had a grazing station with all of these cold cuts and cheese and crepes and chocolate sticks and bread sticks and ah my people really enjoyed it shout out to my best friend val who went back to <laughs> to serve like four times <laughs> and lastly hobson traveled so for the actual preview we wanted our guests to scan a QR code and then get to see a preview of the book so on their phones it's good logistically but also in this time that we're living in you want to reduce how much contact people have so you don't want people sharing books and stuff all right so let's get to how it went down we start things off with Sylvia who is the CEO of Cravette Moliere. She was the host and MC and did a splendid job. And then it went into Lange and I reading bits of our chapters. Also, the men at the event happened to be all my people. <laughs> and so to represent them, my partner Falgun actually got a chance to give a bit of a speech and I was so proud. He said such insightful things. I also have to send like a big thank you to my friend Janet Bogwa, who is a Kenyan media personality. She also does a lot of work in trying to end period poverty. She is going to be given a quote in or on the book. You know like how a book has a quote, people telling you how dope it is? Yeah, she's going to be saying that in our book. <laughs> and she also came and gave such a beautiful speech. And lastly, thank you to Louise Mashira, who also wrapped the day with a speech about wellness. I was also just so happy that my family could be there. For 12 years, they've really walked with me through my healing journey. And just to have key people who have been there from the beginning every day when it was dark when it was terrible when i'd given up on myself because there was a point i'd given up on myself and just thought that there's no healing that's going to happen and whatever prison i was in i was going to be in it for life they were there with me when i was giving up and then to have them here where it's such an auspicious occasion that all of this healing is culminating in this powerful book ah, it just meant the world to me Lange, my dearest Lange, i hope you know how much of an influence you have become in my life by virtue of us working on this powerful project this project means a lot to me because i know it's going to touch so many survivors of sexual violence I know it's going to spark conversations so that people can start asking how they can help end this vice. And then personally, which is why I'm just like, we're friends. Working on this book means we're automatically friends by force, by fire. Because personally, I wish you knew what you letting me be part of this project meant for me and for my healing. This, I'm even shaking. This is, I, 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 I really don't have the words. It means so much to me. And we have something here. This book we done did. Ah, the impact it's about to have. The power it possesses. And finally, the guest of honor, <laughs> who probably didn't even understand what was happening at this event. My niece, who has brought my family so much joy. She's brought me so much joy and I I just loved having her at this preview even though half the time she was eating my, my top. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> when you get the top back, just <laughs> ignore. And here's to 2021 when we finally launch this book and I hope you will get a copy for yourself and for your entire circle because it's such a life-changing book. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications because now I'm really kind of getting into this video thing. And I've also put links to my platforms and Crevit Moliere's platforms so that you can keep tabs on the book and buy it once it comes out. Thank you.